morning and welcome, uh, welcome one, welcome all to the COGX Hybrid Festival 2021. The government is pushing an unashamedly pro-tech agenda for the coming years. I do believe that we are already seeing this golden age for UK tech. If anything is a learning from the past year, it's how interdependent we all are, but also how data transparency have changed expectations from your stakeholders. In the year 2000, I went back to the orphanage where my father was raised in Lebanon and built a computer lab. My dad ended up being an electrical engineer, and it always amazed me that this orphan boy from the mountains in Lebanon saved millions of lives through some technology he developed. The thing that I haven't seen enough of is the leader that acknowledges the concerns that colleagues from the majority group may have. IT needs to be seen as something to be fixed. Because if you look at using IT more efficiently, you can decrease the cost while you improve your footprint. If there's a consistent mistake that I see us making, it's believing that somehow AI is just zeros and ones that aren't really connected to all of the forms of natural resources to make these systems actually work. It wasn't pie in the sky type of uh, programs that we were working on. They taught me how to be financially literate. They taught me how to deal with vendors. And I would figure out uh, the economic benefits for them to donate their food to us rather than return it. And I said, wait a minute, you donate it to us, you can actually take a tax deduction. You get to feed kids in the community and right away we got to see the improvement in their work ethic. You know, I think we all know out there, look, when things are going well, we don't want to trip ourselves when we're running downhill. We don't want to be that masochist. And I've done that before, but we do need to check ourselves and go, do I have the right resistance in my life to overcome? I was not having the right resistance to overcome. Every startup starts as a story. I think supercharging these scalable technologies through media and, and the audience that, that I'm fortunate to have is another way to kind of normalize that, that we're in this moment, it's not going anywhere, and we have to embrace it in a, in a smart and calculating way. That's why we have to work so hard right now, because if we ever want to get to 2040 or 2050 and try to get some kind of carbon neutrality, we don't have many years to, to get it right because it takes so long to get these things into the system. In terms of the way that I think about the landscape, the cyber attackers tend to form in broadly one of three categories. Government who have offensive cyber AI capabilities. In that middle sector, you have organized cyber criminal gangs that are purely in there for the commercial game. And then at the other end of the scale, you have got those individuals that are just looking to showcase their expertise. Everybody agrees now of the importance of the use of data for research purposes. The question is, how best to do it? How do you turn these facts and build the next 10 great years for this nation? If we don't do it, then please tell me who will. Impartiality is absolutely critical. It's critical for the world. We will speak the truth as we see it, irrespective of the consequences. If all we did was represent individuals, then I think we're really failing in what we're trying to do, which is bring that movement away from using desperate. There's two truths about technology or that you need to recognize. The one is that exponential technology is accelerating and you have the fact that every business is becoming a technology business. 